CAA Manitoba has uh, recently acquired uh, one electric car from our battery company to test in Manitoba. And we purchased this Nissan Leaf to test the vehicle in Manitoba climate as well. Both cars are 100% electric. And at CAA Manitoba, we knew that uh, the public and our members would be interested in this new technology that's coming to our province. Uh, and we wanted to be able to offer them uh, an unbiased opinion that was was Manitoba tried so that we could we could tell them what we knew about the cars, not what someone else had tried somewhere else. Uh, it hasn't been terribly cold. I did have a few days where it was uh, below minus 25 that I did get to test it a little bit. How far can you drive on one charge on one of these vehicles? Well, that depends on a number of variables. Uh, obviously, it depends how you drive. Currently, right now, I've been testing uh, both vehicles. Uh, in our climate so far this year, we've been getting around 100 kilometers in the city. And on the highway, it's about 60 because it takes so much more energy to drive 100 kilometers per hour. What's the longest test you've done? <laughs> uh, about 75 kilometers, and that was kind of mixed between city and highway use. And I ran it completely empty. Our main things that we were concerned about is the battery. Everyone says, you know, I have my cell phone battery. If I'm outside in the winter, you know, I can't make a phone call because it doesn't have enough energy. Um, so we wanted to test that with these cars. So we've actually let them sit, you know, to minus 25 and then got in them and driven and see how the range is. Uh, and we haven't experienced that, that issue where the, the range was so far decreased that it would become a problem. Uh, both vehicles have uh, built-in heaters to keep the battery at the right temperature and they can also keep them cool as well in the summer because hot batteries are, are a bad thing too. What about as far as charging goes? Do you, do you need to have a special docking station or how does the charging of this vehicle work? Uh, there are a number of ways you can charge these vehicles. Uh, you can charge it with a 110 volt charger just like you were to plug in your cell phone or hair dryer or block heater. Uh, so Manitobans are actually conditioned already to that. We plug in. Um, before we go in the morning. Uh, you can also charge the 220 volt charger, which is a lot faster. Uh, so the 110 could charge anywhere between 13 and 20 hours. Uh, the 220 charger could be between five and seven hours. So that's quite a bit faster. CAA and AAA in the States are actually piloting a project where if you did run out of power in these vehicles, um, that they could bring power to you, similar as they could bring you gas if you needed it. So one thing you'll notice about this car is familiarity. You're already noticing that this battery is the same as the battery that's in your car that you currently drive. This battery here runs your headlights, your wipers, uh, your heated seats. Another thing you might notice is that this kind of looks like a valve cover. You know, they did that to associate familiarity so that you feel comfortable with this new technology. There is no oil, there is no, no valves or nothing in there except electronics. So there's your, your key. It's a transponder base, so there isn't actually anywhere to put it. You can just keep it in your pocket or, or your purse or whatever you have. Put your foot firmly on the brake and push the, the button there. And that's it. Now the car is actually running. I can't hear the engine. I know. <laughs> there's nothing. That, that's kind of weird. Like it's not, It should be running. It's not running. And then just pull it down to drive. Yep. And if you pull it down a second time into drive, it goes into economy mode, which helps you again further your range. Uh, it's just a basic nav system. Oh, okay. Um, so I guess you're not really interested in XM. Yeah, hair nation, that doesn't help me because I got no hair. <laughs> so th this thing will actually tell us how much energy we're using. This could be a fantastic idea for driving schools. Yeah. Because we do go through a fair amount of gas. For about a month's use, I figure I spent probably about $13 in electricity at home. Uh, so I did plug in at work, so we'll just times that by two and say about $26. So $26 for a month of me driving back and forth. Uh, in my gas car, I think that's about four days. So you'll notice right away we've turned on the heater. So we've actually dropped our range. It's now down to 86 kilometers. And that's because we're using energy uh, for the climate control. You put your foot to the floor on this stretch, you can see how fast it accelerates. That's one thing people people think when they when they, speed uh, people think with an electric car that there won't be any power or we've got four guys in here and we got, that's yeah 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 thanks for having us appreciate that one nice to meet you. piece of information I'd still like to know is can Fred Hebert and I both fit in the front seat of this car <laughs> this is unbelievable <laughs> this is unreal man oh. where's the flux capacitor <laughs> oh, Marty. <laughs> We 
fit. Look at this. Are you steer? I'll shift. Let's drive. 